<laughs> Just chocolate? Like you get a new look for it. We hate management, we hate meetings, we don't like long emails. If you see something in the game that you want to fix, don't ask permission, just go in there and make it awesome. Yeah, people are asking us, like, what's your secret? <laughs> yeah, um, what are we all about? It's always sort of a corny answer, but it's, it's really the people. And, you know, we have really strict hiring practices. Every single discipline has uh, a test that we give people. And um, we have a very thorough interview process as well. We really want to make sure that the people we're bringing in are going to work with um, the way we like to work, which is everybody's got to be very self-motivated, self-starters. We don't have uh, very much management. We say like we don't hire people so they can work for us, but we hire people so they can we can work with them. We hired people yeah. because of their talent and their creativity, and we want people just to get in there and collaborate because that's where the the magic happens, really. I mean, when you've got a programmer working with an animator or a modeler working with a texture artist, and they're sitting right next to each other and they're communicating on a daily basis. Like bureaucracy, bureaucracy, or hierarchy. hierarchy, all that stuff. That's just like this. This is not us, and uh, we are like just trying to be as plain as we can in terms of our organization. Try to be efficient, go to the point and get it done. It's like we trust everyone just to be on top of what they have to do. Well, and that's the thing. I mean, I think we're somewhat spoiled because, as we're saying, we yeah. have this amazing team and we've got these people that we can trust and they're going to do great work even if they are have very minimal direction. No. And that's the kind of people that we want to uh, bring into Naughty Dog. I mean, in the end, that environment can kind of be chaotic, but that's sort of what we all thrive in. That's and good. it's organized chaos and sometimes not so organized no, chaos. Yeah, but, no. but in the end, uh, I know we've got the team that can pull off those ideas and just make the game even better so yeah, our yeah. team size is you yeah. know more than doubled in just the last probably three years yeah. and you know we're still trying to maintain that small game company feel we're trying to make sure that everybody feels like they've got uh, a say in the production and everybody's got a, a voice to be heard I feel like every single day I come to work I, I learn something you know I mean, I'm being pushed by my peers around me to um, you know keep up with the state of the art after shipping a game we like tell people, you know what, just go ahead. I mean, just try things out. We, you have no direction whatsoever. You have three months, do what, whatever you want to do. Actually, a lot of the greatest ideas that ended up in the game of Uncharted 2 came out of that period yeah. of time, that first three months between Uncharted 1 and, and when we fully hit production of Uncharted 2. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that period of time of just being able to be creative without restriction, I think really uh, helps the entire production process. We are very communicative with the game development community at large. Um, we talk to uh, other developers within Sony and even uh, other That's friends it. in the industry yeah. and just try to bounce ideas off them, see how they've got their studio set up. If we know great guys are making great games and we're gonna, we're gonna ask them if they want to come by at our studio and so they can check it out. We're like really, really open about what we do we're trying to share it with other developers within Sony, outside Sony. Now yeah. the teams are so big, the development process is so complicated. The challenges are so different. Uh, yeah. That just the having the idea is only the first step, and yeah. you've still got you know 99 more steps before you're actually going to be able to implement that idea. Evan comes from design, and he's still doing design work. I'm come from programming. I'm still doing programming work, and, and so that's, everybody yeah. from top to bottom works on the game. Actually, has a task that they're producing work that's making the game better. Nobody's just managing a schedule or pushing papers. Um, we want the decision to be in the hands of the people that are doing the work. This is our first passion and we don't want to lose that. I think we will probably lose some of the energy that we have if we can spend some time doing what's our first passion. Some it works. Uh, and cross our fingers. Uh, but yeah, it works. <laughs>